How are you doing out there? I'm going to be drawing on the iPad Air today. Not using Procreate, I'm going to be using Photoshop. It looks very different on the iPad to how it looks on the PC and even the Mac. Yes, this is a really cut down version of Photoshop. I've got to say, as somebody who normally uses Corel Painter and Photoshop every day for my professional work, and you know, even just for fun, Photoshop on the iPad really, really does look different. Yeah, wow. I don't know what to say about it. It's it's really different in terms of layout, in terms of the tools. It's a totally different app in every way. I'm kind of shocked about it. Right, okay, obviously it might look different on your iPad because I've laid it out for my left-handed use. The drawing I'm doing is one of my blue schools. You might see another one that I've drawn in Procreate as well. That one's an alien skull. That's going to be on my channel. But this is just a regular skull. Uh, I've changed it up a bit at the end, as you'll be able to see. I put a marker in as where I was going to leave this just as a regular skull. But Yes, I do change it up to be a bit of an irregular skull. Now, the reason I do skulls is because that really helps with just being able to draw regular facial sculpt uh, structures. Uh, when you're drawing faces, one thing you have to get right is the skull structure. Knowing where the eye sockets, the nose, the chin, everything like that. If you get used to drawing skulls, you'll be able to draw faces a lot better yeah reason I draw on blue is just because that's a color that works great you can also try oranges reds uh, etc as well but drawing it on white just isn't great for your eyes for one but you know it's a tonal value thing pick your favorite color this is a very rough sketch you don't have to go into a lot of detail unless you want but it's kind of a five minute doodle thing. You know, take, take as long as you want. This one I think I spent kind of half an hour on. But that's just to make sure that everything was right in it. I think I gave him a few extra teeth there that I didn't have to. I could have got rid of about those back four teeth looking back at this. But overall, the shape of the skull there that you're looking at right now, pretty much bob on. I'm happy with that. So yeah, I think there's there's a good shape to to this skull. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like I say, that blue background there, all I have to do is add the shading and highlights. That way I don't have to add mid-tones as well. But I draw plenty of these skulls all the time. Some from the side on, which makes it a lot easier some from the front view and some from kind of a three quarter angle as well but obviously you have to spend a bit longer on those ones now you see here i am adding a mid tone as well that does work to make them pop out from the background and obviously skulls are kind of a whitish color don't have to be perfectly white you know bleach skulls are a bit weird unless you're looking at terminator the kind of you know, ones on the floor in the future, on the floor. Um, but yeah, so playing with Photoshop, a lot of people prefer Procreate on the iPad. I've got to say Photoshop is actually a great app and it's definitely worth having, especially if you have the bundle of uh, the Creative Cloud. You know, it's, it's free if you already have the bundle, so certainly download it and use it as well. You know, you don't want to get trapped into just using one app on the iPad. I um, use Art Studio Pro and a few others as well. Haven't found anything particularly that I like for vectors. For me, I, you know, I don't think, I don't know. Yeah, I, I just haven't found anything that I really like using for vectors on the iPad. One thing for me is about about Photoshop. Yeah, I 
I wish it had the layer structure that it does have on the uh, on the PC. I, overall, I just wish it was Photoshop from the uh, yeah from the PC. The iPad Air four that I have here is a really powerful device. So yeah, I know it could you know handle a version of Photoshop. This is where I, I think I'm going to leave the regular skull. But yeah, to me that looks great just for a proper sketch. And I'm starting to add in weirder things just to see where I can take it. I want to make it kind of a devil skull. That's what I've decided on. So some horns, maybe a few spikes around the skull, or some other features. You see where I've added highlights around the eyes. So I'm happy with the eye sockets, especially on this. I've added a few extra cracks already around the skull that aren't particularly a part of the anatomy. And because I've already added in extra teeth that shouldn't have been there, you know, that to me was already one of the things that made me think I should make this skull not exactly realistic, by the way. So, yes, um, going back to what I was saying about Photoshop, I would really like um, just the proper Photoshop for the iPad. I think this is a powerful enough tablet to be able to handle some version of Photoshop. I wish they, you know, I wish they would do that. And if they put real Illustrator on the iPad as well, I would certainly go to use using that. And for me, yeah. That's a big part of it. If the nib on the Apple Pencil was more like a, a nib from a, a Wacom uh, stylus, then that, to me as well, would definitely help with using a, a version of Illustrator or a vector application. I really need that, that nib to be a lot finer for me to do to do vector work. I'm okay with, with sketching and drawing with the Apple Pencil, I think that works really well. But for vector work, I, I just need something thinner for all that accurate pinpoint work that I tend to do in my vector art. You see here the, the skulls coming along quite nicely. I don't want to do too much work to it. But yeah, I, I'm really happy with just, uh, just adding those few other bits to make it look demonic, let's say. Yeah. I'm liking how that's looking. In a way, there's not too much more to really do to this. It's just adding in finer detail and, and just kind of, you know, like I say, adding bits more to it. But Photoshop, I, I think has done a really great job of this and I'm just kind of adding on layers as I go. But I haven't needed too many. I haven't certainly used as many as I would have done in uh, in my regular work. You can see right there in the bottom of the layers palette, I had used this canvas to do a previous sketch, but I decided to to not carry on with that. You know, right here, I might drag that across to another file and and carry on with that. Let me know what you think of the skull in the comment section below. I'd love it if you subscribed and uh, especially if you clicked like because that will help YouTube share my video so that other viewers can find my channel. That'd be great. Right, for now I will just say goodbye and uh, see you in the next video. Ciao for now. <laughs>